Welcome back. When we last left off, we had just uh, left the spot over here where it appears that maybe he had pieces of Esther's car scattered about and covered. There with were chemical diagrams on the mug he gave me coffee in, sticky at the handle where his hands shook. He worked for a pharmaceutical company with an office based on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. He'd been travelling back from a sales conference in Exeter, forming a strategic vision for the peddling of antacid yoghurt to the European market. You could trace the connections with your finger, join the dots, and whole new compounds would be summoned into activity. So that's why all of, all of some of these drawings are out here. Wow, that's holy, oh, that's big. What is that, him? Around? Sure. What is that, fight, flight? From heaven? Shown around him. Hmm. For plight. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. So, uh, so he has watched ashes, apparently. Sorry for the d delay there. So my wife was, had walked in and was talking to me, so I was just sort of walking around aimlessly there for a second, or a minute, or two. So, 
Um, so let's get these letters. And put a swatch ashes in them. Is that, is that what he's saying? That's what it seems like. I say I keep saying his wife. I'm not sure if it's his wife or not. Esther. Sudden flight, flight, on a sudden, on a sudden, a light from heaven shone round him, and he fell to the ground. On a sudden, a light from heaven shone around him, and he fell to the ground. Okay. The story keeps getting better and better. The hints that they give you. <laughs> the commentary that comes about here and there. Good job, guys. When Paul keeled over dead on the road to Damascus, they resuscitated him by hitting him in the chest with stones gathered by the roadside. He was lifeless for 21 minutes, certainly long enough for the oxygen levels in his brain to have decreased and caused hallucinations and delusions of transcendence. I'm running out of painkillers, and the moon has become almost unbearably bright. Is that someone standing out there? Probably be gone by the time I get there. Sorry, I'm adjusting my seating situation. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. What? Can we get up to the top of the hill? I think we can get up right there, yes. Tell you. 
It's not, he's not. It may have been that pole. Really? No, that's not tall enough. Oh, 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 oh. I get it now, the last, the last commentary. <laughs> Did he jump from here? Because this is where he was, right? What am I standing on? As he was proceeding on his journey. And was come near to Damascus. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Apparently did jump. And neither did he eat or drink. And he was three three days with outside. There, look at the low effect from the candles. Check it out. Yes. There are headlights reflected in these retinas. Too long in the tunnels of my island without a bottom. The sea creatures have risen to the surface, but the gulls are not here to carry them back to their nests. I've become fixed, open and staring, an eye turned on itself. I've become an infected leg whose tracking lines form a perfect map of the junctions of the M5. I will take the exit at mid-thigh and plummet to my Esther. Yep. Wow, doesn't that just look great? Check out that view. I'm getting 
<laughs> really into the story, apparently. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one now. And, uh, we may be getting close to ending this game. I'm not quite sure, but I guess we'll soon find out. Check out those drawings. Alright, anyway, we'll see you next time.